Hi, Pete here from Club Engineer. In the next couple of talk throughs, we're going to look at modifying the robot and changing the code so that it successfully detects the green hints and turns in the correct direction. But first, let's have a look at the finished robot. We'll be modifying the robot with two light sensors and changing the code so the two light sensors will successfully detect the left or right turn hints. The robot will detect the left hand turn hint. It will pass successfully over all the simple tiles. Note how it's running quite a bit faster than when we had a single sensor robot. It will detect the right hand turn hints. When we're done, not only will the robot successfully detect the left or right hand turn hints, but it'll be much, much faster on the line following tiles, which will give us a competitive edge in RoboCup. So we're going to begin by writing a single sensor line following program as a bit of a refresher. But first of all, let's just study our robot one more time. This robot has one light sensor plugged into port one. It has its left hand motor plugged into port C and it has its right hand motor plugged into port A. So we'll start by writing a single sensor line following program using a switch plot as main part of the logic. So create a new program. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it single sensor and we'll make this one follow the left hand side of the line. So single sensor hyphen left and we click save. We'll start with a, uh, a loop block and inside the loop block we'll put a switch block. We'll change the switch block to switch based on the value of light sensor 1. Now studying our robot when light sensor 1 sees white or executes this part of the code up here we want to turn right by running motor C and stopping motor A. Or actually from experience previously we know that we don't want to stop motor A, we want to run motor A in reverse. When the light sensor 1 sees black we want to turn right by running motor A and stopping or running motor C very slightly in reverse. So we'll get that set up. When it sees white we run C forward and A backwards. When it sees black we run A forwards and C backwards. One more thing to change, notice how these are all set to run for one revolution, so we have to change that to unlimited. And we also know from experience that running at the default power of 75 is too fast, so we'll change that to 60 when we're running forward, and 60 when we're running forward, and I have a guess at 20 when we're running backwards. Uh, just tidy that up. Compile, download and run and have a look at how our robot is performing. This program is going to work a treat when all the turn hints are on the left hand side of the line. However, if we flip the second tile around so the turn hints are on the right hand side of the line, we'll see that the robot as it approaches the tile it won't detect the hint and it'll either go the wrong way or it'll fall off the line completely. What we need now is a single sensor line following program that'll stick to the right hand side of the line. So start off with another new program. Uh, we'll save it. We'll call this one single sensor right. Single sensor hyphen right and click save. 
Now, this is easy to uh, write. We're going to copy the code from the single sensor left. So I select the outside loop block. I copy it to the clipboard with Control C. I come over to our single sensor write program. I paste it in with Control V and drop it onto the sequence beam. Now, studying our robot one more time, to make this program tap the right-hand side of the line, what we have to do is modify it so when the light sensor on port 1 sees white, we want to run motor A forward and C in reverse. And when the light sensor on port 1 sees black, we want to run motor C forward and motor A slowly in reverse. So we compile, download and run this program and we can see that it's successfully tapping the right hand side of the line and as it approaches the hint it'll turn correctly in the right hand direction. But once again, these programs are both one-trick ponies, as they say. The left-hand program will only detect a left-hand hint, and the right-hand program will only detect a right-hand hint. What we need now is two sensors on the robot, with some code that makes the decision as to which of these two programs should execute at any given one time. To get some ideas how to modify your robot for two sensors, you can go to the Club Engineer website, clubengineer.org, slash build hyphen instructions, and scroll down to the third robot on the page, CE Racebot version 01 with two light sensors. Click on that and we'll talk you through how to modify your robot for two sensors. Good luck implementing both the code and modifying your robot for two sensors. The material we're covering in these talkthroughs is hard and sometimes, in spite of your best effort, you may find that you're stuck. Often, it only takes a small amount of face-to-face -face help to get you back on track. If you think you'd benefit from face-to-face -face help, then open your web browser and type clubengineer.org help. You'll see a list of times and places where face-to-face -face help is available. At these sessions, you'll get all the help you need to get back on track. You may also meet like-minded young engineers such as yourself for collaborating on projects down the track. Face-to-face -face sessions are run over the school holidays and after school during term time. They're available for all ages from years 5 to year 12. We also run face-to-face -face sessions for teachers and mentors. We'd love to meet you at one of these sessions and learn what you have been building.